What's up, everyone? Watch my class. Today is Chinese English, the eighth. Okay, I'm in Beijing. It's cold, so let's make this video quick. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you want to take any of my English courses, you can find information below. I've got courses every month, like pronunciation, travel English, movie English, and this month, Kouyu Rumen Kecheng. Check it out below, and I hope to see you there. Ah, English, Chinese English. I hope one day you can teach me English. 我经常，美食，我最常经常发错的，我经常发错的，我经常发错的美食中文。如果有的话，也可以在下面给我留言。但是 ，be nice. All right, let's get started. Give you, yeah, no give you. Here you are. Here you are. I think I can't. If you think you can't, you definitely can't. No, no. I don't think I can. Remember, in English, we often like to put the negative words in the beginning, not at the end. All right. All right. Next one. Do you like rice wine? And this is confusing for a few reasons. In English, wine usually comes from different kinds of fruits, and the alcohol content is much, much lower than baijiu. So, someone hearing rice wine for the first time probably thinks it's a low alcohol drink. And they uh, they might drink a little too much, and uh, we don't we don't want that. Some of these popular words in Chinese are now becoming used in English, like jiaozi. We have gyozi, which is just a bad English spelling, but people say gyozi anyway. Someday, I think baijiu will be an English word, so then we can just say baijiu. For now, you can just call it rice liquor or rice spirits or Chinese spirits. <laughs> Because this is a drink which is very specific to China, kind of like Scotch is to Scotland or cognac is to France. All right, next one. What materials are in this food? I often hear the word material and ingredients mixed up. Ingredients we often use when we're talking about food and different ingredients used to make food. Materials are usually things such as steel, wood. Plastic and so on. You want to drink how long? How long is it? Long time. How long is it? How long time? For how long, we can just say how long. How long are you staying? Are you staying a long time? You should always wear sandals in the house. Make sure to bring your slippers to the beach. Toshia, slippers has your sandals. Pretty easy. The ones you wear inside to keep your feet clean, slippers. The ones you wear to the beach in the summer. Sandals. Speaking of the beach, I want to go to the beach to get black.、Um, I want to go to the beach to get tan. I honestly would like to get a tan. You mean Jordan? Huh? Is it too bright? I'll meet you three hours later. I'll meet you three hours after. I'll meet you three hours after. Is it too late? Or after? In this situation, we say, "I'll meet you in three hours." I'll meet you in three hours. I don't know why, but lately, you just want to eat fast food. Love my convenient noodles. Fast food is convenient, no problem. But fast food, we say instant noodles. I'm gonna get on a train here. I'm gonna go get my instant noodles first. All right, the last one is a bit longer. Tongjing, sure, sure. Ever, I ever played basketball in high school.、Uh, I used to play basketball in high school. I ever lived in Hawaii. I once lived in Hawaii. These two sentences are not right. 从来没出过夏威夷，也在高中的时候没有打过篮球。If it's a positive sentence, 肯定句话 ，then you need to say I once 什么什么 something. If you ask a question, you can say ever. Did you ever play basketball in high school? Did you ever live in Hawaii? Have you ever met a famous person? So if it's a negative sentence, you can use a negative word and ever or never. Helicopter, have to pause for a moment.、Huh? Never just means not ever. So you can say 
don't ever do it. Negative word with ever. Or never do it, and it's the same meaning. Nobody has ever traveled to Mars. People have never traveled to Mars. The other situation you can use ever is when it's the first time you've done something. This is the first time I've ever eaten hot pot. You kidding me? I eat hot pot all the time. Or you can say, I've never eaten hot pot before. Alright, All right, that's it for episode eight. Thank you for all of your Chinglish suggestions in the comments. If you have any more, please leave your comments below and I will use them for episode nine. Don't forget to check out my courses and subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share it. 我是Michael Lauscher, 下次再见!